Since the 3DS was announced at E3 2010 last year, a lot of media has popped up around it. However, the most noticeable will be how the 3D screen works and how it affects you. Without going into too much detail, it essentially sends one image to your left eye and a slightly different image to your right eye, exactly how your eyes would work in real life. This is why there's a sweet spot, as being slightly out of line means one eye would not receive the correct image, thus the 3D would not work. Now the media have been having a ball with this, stirring a big whirlwind up around the fact that the 3D effect will completely ruin your eyes. Well hopefully the next couple of minutes will shed some light on the situation and offer a real explanation about this revolutionary console. So I spotted a few weeks back that one newspaper here in the UK had published an article about how the 3DS is terrible for your eyes. I researched this a lot and found a brilliant article online and this should ease your worries. I'll post a link to the article below, however I'll sum it up very quickly. It's called Talking Point, to 3D or not to 3D, and it's basically an in-depth look into how the stereoscopic 3D can harm your eyes it was written after the launch in Japan, but before the launch around the rest of the world. It starts by saying how many users in Japan have experienced headaches, etc. after playing the console for an elongated period of time, and naturally this has begun to worry the rest of the world awaiting the launch of the 3DS. It then explains how we humans see the world in 3D, because of the way our eye works. Again, one image to the left eye, the other image to the right eye, which allows us to see 3D and also judge distances. Now the article then says this is exactly how the 3DS works. The problem is that users have probably spent years and years playing games and watching television in 2D, with both our eyes receiving the same picture from the screen. So when we view the 3DS, our eyes are saying, hey look, it's a 3D image. Whereas our brain is saying, hang on, it's a screen. We're used to seeing 2D on a screen, which is true. Now this is the only reason why some people are experiencing headaches and nausea. It's because the brain is getting confused and it thinks that the screen should be in 2D. But just like anything in life, it will take a little bit of time to adapt to the 3DS screen. The final paragraph sums everything up rather nicely. It basically says that the bottom line is that everyone will experience different effects when using a 3DS when it comes to playing on the system. But for most people, it will just be a matter of giving their eyes and brain time to adjust to the new way of viewing and playing video games. So none of you would know this, but I wore glasses for 10 or 11 years, and after playing on my 3DS for over a month, I have to say it's had no effect on me whatsoever. First day I used the 3DS, it was a bit odd as I wasn't used to it. However, as I played on it more, I became aware that the discomfort I first felt had completely gone away. Again. This could be another reason why people are not buying it. Perhaps they've tried it out in a game retail store and they felt a bit of discomfort and then immediately assumed it would harm their eyesight when in reality all they need is a bit longer to get used to the screen and keeping it in the sweet spot. I mean, I took my system into college and none of my friends found that it hurt to look at the screen. They were just completely blown away by the 3D effect. Don't forget that Nintendo also included the depth slider, so you can adjust the effect to your preferences. Some games work really well in full 3D, such as Face Raiders, whereas Nintendogs plus Cats, it's a bit uncomfortable, so all you have to do is slide it to about halfway, and I've had no problems. Seriously, it's not that hard to adjust the 3D effect, it's as easy as changing the volume. Now, please don't ask me if you can still use the console if you have a specific eye problem, because I don't know. The best way would be to try out the console yourself and see if you can notice the effect. Probably the best way to try the system out is by having the 3D on a relatively low setting, say about a third or halfway, and see how you get on with it.